Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Tonight, Friday night, I have nothing better to do than to take apart my GoPro Karma. So first thing first is we're going to remove everything that doesn't need a screwdriver. Um, after that we're going to remove everything that needs a screwdriver and then we'll just take it from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So right off, let's open up the arms here so we can get to everything. And I'm just going to remove the propellers, pretty straightforward. Propellers out of the way. I've already taken the battery out. The battery would go back here. That's already removed. So the next step would be to take off the landing gear, the feet. So I'm going to do that with a Torx wrench. I don't know what size this is, to be honest, the number's not on there, but I will make sure and put the link in my YouTube. So let's go ahead and find the screws to this guy. I see one already in here. It looks like it can definitely take a spill or two. And be okay. It also seems pretty modular, so like you can easily replace the arms, the landing gear, obviously the camera. If you get a new camera, you can upgrade the camera, All right? Okay, I believe I've taken four screws. Let's see if this landing gear is going to pop out yet. Oh, so, just pop this off here. Okay, so look at that. This is landing gear. So just to show you again what I did, this wire was here. This was just kind of snapped on. There's only four screws here. And I took these four screws off. One, two, three, four. Pop this off. Looks like this is probably an antenna. Yes, most likely the antenna right in here. And kind of going into the feet. So I'm gonna pop this guy out here. Very easy. Let's get the landing gear out of the way over here. Great. Landing gear is off. Unplugged it from the antenna here. Looks like we have four, um, four cable bundles, one for each motor going in. We also have four screws in here, so I'm going to go ahead and take out these four screws. These are plugs. Ta -da. Just pop these plugs out. There we go. Plugs that have a clip. Okay, that's okay. Of course, they have a clip. There. There's one plug. Now we can take the other ones out easily. Effort. Looks like you can get them out. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's kind of late tonight. It's a little dark, but it's basically just your standard. It's like six pins, six pin clip. There's four of them, one for each motor. That one actually came out easy, but it seems like these paper things come out pretty easy. Um, okay, these are off. Now let's see what we can do. Now we can take these pieces off. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Let's, let's just focus on the clamshell part. Now we need to put those screws a lot easier. Clamshell in here. I think it's appropriate timing, being the weekend before Halloween, to dissect a GoPro Karma. Ooh, I feel it. The screws. Should be four of them. The, ooh, there's two. Okay, not yet. Two more screws. There. Let's see if we can take off this shell now. Ah, there it is. There it is. 
So this is the Karma motherboard. So it's just to get this out of the way, this is just a plastic. There's no antenna or satellite or anything. There's a power button in this and that's it. Otherwise, it's just a plastic shell. Get this out of the way. Let's take a look at the motherboard here. It all looks to be like one integrated piece. Some of the original 3DR drones were built up of separate units. This looks like pretty much one big motherboard. Again, this is very solid. This is very simple. It reminds me of like a, a like a child's like Tonka truck, kind of tough toy, right? Um, all integrated, one motherboard. Looks like I have some more torque screws to take off for that. Maybe one's the antenna for the radio and one's the antenna for the video. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see, this chip, does it say anything? Amotech GPR7. Power comes in through the back here. You can see that, got a couple power cables. The arms had a screw, one each. Deep in here. There it is. Well, take this one screw out. And just for the record, the screws are kind of tight at first. It's like they have a tight lock, kind of like a, that blue coating that goes on the screw. Makes it extra strong so the screw doesn't wiggle its way out. I just have to kind of take it off slowly, gently. Yeah, his arm's coming off. Oh, and there it goes. See, this guy already popped off. I'm gonna get him out of the way in a second. Let's uh, take this guy off here. These arms, I'm gonna just leave them kind of in this little harness here just so it's easy for me to kind of guide them back in. But this is one set of arms. Put them over here. Again, very modular. It doesn't look like I can take the motors out of the arm. It looks like it's all one piece, which in a way makes it really easy. I had this plug I was telling you about. Really nice plug here. Now if you ever crash and break an arm or burn a motor out, just replace that. Okay, so let's take these arms off. both these out. So it's just one screw per arm. It's a few screws obviously to get to that arm, but once you get there, it's you take off the landing gear, you take off two braces or brackets, and then you get to the arm screws and voila. Second set. Okay, so we've taken the arms off of our Karma drone. You can see here, it's just a single screw for each one. Each one plugged in here. All right, one, two, three, four. Each one had six pins. This is the antenna that went into the landing gear. On the other side, we have motherboard. Two antenna here. I believe these are probably the video antenna, video signal antenna. I've put the clamshell back on. I've put the legs back in. I'm now finishing up the brackets, braces for the legs. And I was just thinking to myself that everything was actually very, very easy to take apart and put back together. Very simple, very modular. Um, I have taken apart the Phantom 3 before and it's a pain in the butt. It, um, there's a lot of snaps, you have to, there's a ton of screws. There's a lot of snaps and you will definitely like scratch it or break a snap trying to get, get the shell back on. It's, it is kind of a pain. You can do it, but it's definitely a pain. This one is like a, like I said earlier, it's like a Tonka toy. It's like a kid's Tonka truck or something. Very simple, four screws, four screws, six screws, and you're done, all right. Now, finish this up. I'm going to plug my motors back in and we'll give it a test flight. 
So I just wanted to note one mistake that I made putting it back together is putting the screws in. Looks like the bracket screws and the landing gear screws are the same. I, um, I put the four landing gear screws in first. Here, 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 and here. And when I put the landing gear on, I was, was not able to put the screws in, obviously. So now I'm going to have to take out all these four landing gear screws and I'm going to have to put in the bracket screws. The bracket screws actually are these other four holes that um, are not enforced. They're like directly on the plastic, kind of the outside four holes. So let me go ahead and put the bracket screws on. Then I'll put the landing gear on. So just so, so you don't make that mistake. We've got Parma calibrated, powered up. I'm going to give it just a short test flight. You can see I'm getting video. So, successful flight. Looks like we got it put back together okay. Thank you for joining me. Good night.